Hi everybody, welcome to Living a Frugal Life. Today we're going to be going over our August budget um, and diving into our living expenses, sinking funds, our daily living rate and our pay schedule. But before we get started, I just want to give you a little background on our income. So we are a one income family of four. Um, we live on the daily living rate. We get paid bi-weekly. We have 26 paychecks per year. We actually budget 24 of them as our living expenses for the year, for our annual budget. The other two remaining um, paychecks, there's one in the spring and there's one in the fall, autumn. We use those to fill our sinking funds in advance for the coming year. This gives us great peace of mind as a one income family of four and we're not scrambling to find money to um, fill them per month. And it makes our income that we have monthly coming in more fluid. We also live on the daily living rate. What is the daily living rate, you ask? The daily living rate is how much you physically need to earn per day to be able to accommodate the expenses that you have for that month. So back in 2018, we found ourselves in a, over $100,000 worth of medical debt. Um, we also found ourselves with a minimum payment to that debt of $1,997. It was absolutely crippling on one income. It was also soul destroying to go to work for bar every day and come home and have nothing to show for it. Our very first budget against our debt when we finished it and everything was paid from our food in the fridge to cars and gas and electricity and our mortgage, we had $1.87 left to our names. And that was really like a slap across the face and it was also um, an awakening. I personally spent, because I'm the CEO of the family for the budgets <laughs> and the finance part of it, I spent the next close to a week diving into our budget in the middle of the night when the house was still and I couldn't sleep from the stress and I was trying I kept coming to mind what Barr said he'd worked every day for 80 hours and had only got one dollar and 87 cents couldn't even buy a cup of coffee let's be real and so along the way I kept going over the budget and cutting it back and doing everything and trying to cut stuff out it wasn't going anywhere. But what I discovered about the budget that month was that we had a good income coming at, in, right? We also had a huge minimum payment going out. So I started to budget our income daily. And that's how I came up with the concept of the daily living rate. I actually invented it. How much it physically costs our family of four to live daily? How much does Bar physically have to earn daily to be able to provide for our family? Now, when we came up with the concept and the number and reworked our budget, we were shocked to discover that there was actually room in our budget because we weren't looking at the budget as a big 31 day block. We were looking at it daily. So when you, let's take August, August has 31 days in it. And so when you, when you see, when I share our budget for the month, you'll see where I break it down. We break our budget down monthly, bi-weekly and daily. And by doing that, it gives us a concept of how much we have and how much um, growth we can get. So let's say you're bringing home $100 a day net not gross net and your outgoings are $89 well then you have $11 daily that you can play with you can either pay that off your debt you can make an extra principal mortgage payment or you can save for retirement $11 a day and it's the same concept across the board you can use the same mathematical equation to work out climbing out of debt it took us, it was a game changer living on the daily rate, living rate because for 845 days of climbing out of debt, $100,000 worth of debt, we knew what we were up against. And there was some days we brought in $500. Why? Because we side hustled that day, right? Okay. 
So I hope you find the daily living rate valuable. I hope you implement it into your own budget. Please tag us when you do. I want to see, I want to see you grow. I love celebrating what other people are accomplishing with their finances. Together, we are str stronger and knowledge shared is powerful. I also want to let you know that I am dyslexic so that if you see any grammar or spelling mistakes or anything like that, um, please be kind. Just send me a DM or leave a comment on, uh, on the YouTube channel and let me know um, so I can correct it. Um, I really appreciate that. I have a lot of great followers over on Instagram who um, have become like my spelling buddies <laughs> who correct stuff for me. So um, send me a little link. So I am not um, opposed to anybody reaching out and giving us tips, tricks, technology, um, whatever. We're grateful. So um, we're only learning over here. Okay, thank you. So let's get started looking at our August budget real numbers and what we are up against for the month of August. So as you can see, I budget out monthly, bi-weekly and daily. I also pay and have set up budget billing on our main expenses, our water, our power and our gas and our internet are all um, set up on budget billing the exact same amount um, every month and it's the same breakdown throughout the year daily which is a great help. So our mortgage for the month of August is $1,389.04. Bi-weekly it's $669.02 and it's $43.16 to turn the key in our door for the month of August swapping isn't it when you look at it how much it is per day to live here um, or, or even how to, to buy your groceries you're going to it's the daily living rate is going to be um, crucial for your finances so water what is water intake it's from everything from showers to laundry to the kitchen to cooking to dishwasher it's $80 a month 40 by weekly $2.50 a day for water Power is 144 a month, 72 bi-weekly, $4.64 a day. So that's a huge whopping number, isn't it? $4.64 a day, what are they doing over there? Well, um, we live in a hot climate, so our air condition is running. We, You could not be in this house if we didn't have air conditioning, you would suffocate with the heat, you'd be sweating. We also have oxygen running in the background for our son who's medically complex. So it's air conditioning, light, air for our sun, and heating our water and everything else like that. So gas for home is $44 a month, $22 bi-weekly, and $1.41 a day. So let me tell you here, this is a great um, tip for you guys, budget billing for um, your gas. So in the summer, we are paying for our gas for the winter, and in the winter, we are paying for our gas in the spring. Um, and so it really, really helps to go on budget billing because we never ever have to worry, is it going to, are we going to be able to put our heat on this um, winter when it gets really cold on one income, you know, because that's something you have to think about. Um, we, it's already paid by, by doing it at $1.41 a day. So internet, we do not have cable. We live stream all of our shows. This is for four, uh, for 5G, excuse me. We just updated for 5G, our district just got it. Um, it's $74.99 a month, $37.49 bi-weekly, $2.41 per day. So T-Mobile is our um, cellular company. Um, our actual bill is $160 a month. Bar gets a siphon of $720 a year for cell phone. He gets it in increments per month of $60. It goes directly to T-Mobile. To That's how we have it set up. And now we are responsible for $100 a month or $1,200 for the year. So it's $50 bi-weekly or $3.22 per day to have cell phones for us all, the family of four and we have unlimited access to data, texting, and calling for that. Revlet is $5 a month, zero bi-weekly, and 16 cent per day to call Ireland 
um, to call our families, which is phenomenal. Groceries this month is going to be $400, $200 bi-weekly, or $12.90 a day. So I have $12.90 a day to budget for my family of four, to feed them for all of our household goods, from toilet paper to shampoo, and to, excuse me, <clears throat> for all of our meals. It's three meals a day, our snacks, and anything else that we need. It's $12.90. So gas for a car is $200 this, this month, $100 bi-weekly, and $6.45 um, a day. A gallon of gas today is $2.98 a gallon. Um, we drive a lot in and out of the city, um, weekly and daily. Our son is mentally co complex, so we're always at the hospital. So our daily, our, our actual monthly bill for the whole month for our living expenses is two thousand three hundred eighty-six dollars and three cents. Bi-weekly, it's one thousand one hundred ninety dollars and fifty-one cents. And daily for our living expenses is our daily living rate for August is ninety-six dollars and thirteen cents. So that means for every single day for the thirty-one days of August, we have to have coming in ninety uh, seventy-six dollars and 13 cent every single day. So let's move on to sinking funds. So our sinking fund this month is vehicle and um, property taxes at $76.05, vehicle registration at seven, at $48.75, admissions inspection is 30, grand total 154.80, and that's our sinking fund expenditure for this month. Now, as you can see, our um, overall monthly budget um, for the month of August is $2,386.03. And our daily living rate for August is $76.13 per day. This month's income for net is $4,786.12. And out of that, we will be spending $2,386.03 on our living expenses. We are also currently paying off our mortgage. You will not see the mortgage payoff in this budget as we have decided to not make any mortgage principal payments this month and save the money that we would normally put to our mortgage principal and put it into our savings account um, to be used at a later date. As of August 1st, our mortgage balance is $192,971.93. We have a goal of being mortgage free on Christmas Day 2025. We're super excited. We have been aggressively paying off our mortgage since September the 1st, 2020. And so far in the last 11 months, we have paid off $20,000 off our mortgage, um, which is super exciting. We have decided not to make any more um, mortgage principal payments for the month of August and instead we are putting that money into a high yield savings account to be used as a bulk of our mortgage in maybe September or October. We're not currently sure right now. Um, we've decided to do that for multiple reasons. The main reason is that our son started a new treatment um, in July and um, we do not currently know how much money we are going to be responsible for. We know it's going to be a big chunk because from experience, um, but we don't know how much out of pocket and out of network we're going to be responsible with for our insurance. So to be on the safe side, we said we are deferring the mortgage principal payments and putting that money into a slush fund emergency fund to pay the bill for the medical when it comes in i think it's a smart thing to do for our family since we are only one income um, that is uh, reliable yes we side hustle but side hustles are not a given so remember that um don't you know your granny used to say don't count your chickens till they're hatched <laughs> so planning is key so that's our plan so as you can see we have our debt-free chart up on the wall. We also keep our mortgage um, balance up on the wall to keep it current, to keep our um, attention focused on our finances. Um, this is up in our game room where our kids and, our, and ourselves hang out and watch TV and we work out up here, so it's in our faces. Um, and it actually gives us um, pride that we have been able to accomplish so much 
um, in such a short time and I have to 100% credit that to bars being able to bring home a salary thank you Jesus and also to be able to live on the daily living rate without it I think we would have been bankrupt to be honest with you so have a great one I hope your August budget um, rolls out the way you anticipated if you have any questions please drop us a comment we'd um, be happy to answer them um